Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Um, yeah, okay, a lot going on. Not a whole lot getting done, but, well, kind of some stuff getting done, but not from us. So, right into it in the chapel, Hebrews 13, 18. Pray for us, for we trust we have in good have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. Now, this goes back to um, the vehicles, okay? We are trying to be more selective with who we do business with. RJ, you know, kind of got a little burnt. He didn't get burnt. It's just because a guy we trusted um, saved him. So, yeah, I'll get into that in, our, in the farmhouse. So, yeah. And me, too. We both learned a lesson so it, it's a lesson that I struggle with all the time but him he learned it this week so uh, yeah um, he actually learned it last week and this week but yeah all right so totally hooked I don't have anything done and if you know me or you followed us you know that I'm a monogamous uh, project person and I like to do one, get it done, see the end result. I have so many going on right now because I'm so excited to work with some different stuff that, yeah, I don't have anything done. So no totally hooked, but um, in the basket, I do have two that I plan on getting done this week. Um, this is the shrug and I am working on it <clears throat> and I've gotten quite far I only have like a ball of yarns falling apart and I had to rip back like three rows last night that's why I put it down whenever I have to rip back it's like mm, yep if I'm frogging rows that means I'm screwing it up and it ain't I shouldn't be working on it then so here is the shrug and as you can see I've gotten quite far um, it's just gonna be one of those that you have the armholes here and this goes across your back it's not anything fancy but this yarn makes it very glittery I know you can't see that on camera we've been through this before um, but it is really pretty yarn there you can see some of the glitter in the yarn um, but yeah it's it's pretty good I think I have to go until I think I measured like 66 inches or 60 some inches I want it droopy to kind of go over the shoulders and down the arms so from what where I think I measured it I think I want not 66 it can't be 66 <laughs> like 36 maybe I don't know now I'm confused I don't know how long I have to go but um yeah so that one and of course that is one of those um the yarn itself is the shawl and a cake so there's like 400 and some yards there and I'm well over halfway done so that's good um, then I couldn't wait to get another one started number one I love this pattern number two I kind of like the poncho that I made that gray and white one so this is a Christmas gift and I had five balls of that red and I have two left and this is that um, Highland wool uh, what was it called I don't remember Peruvian 100% Peruvian Highland wool and it is I've got just the two skeins like this left to do I had five of them and this is as far as I've gotten on it. and I'm actually pretty far this is two and a half balls in I'm gonna drop my hook here in a minute you're gonna hear it hit the floor oh well <laughs> I don't know where it's at but I've gotten quite far I do have some uh, ends I need to trim off they're already woven in I just haven't trimmed them um, so yeah and it's coming along quite nicely my ball of yarn has gone on its way but I've got this much left of this one which is probably half done 
And as it goes, because it gets bigger, keep in mind, it's not going to make as many rows. Um, so I, it's not going to be like three times bigger than this. But yeah, it's getting there and it's beautiful. And it is going to be a poncho, so it'll be folded over like so. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way that one's working up. And I know I have enough to make a good size poncho. Um, make it light and, and big. So, yeah, I've been working on those two pretty steady. I still have the infinity shawl or infinity scarf. It's just on the back burner. And I've got some other projects planned. I have not started them. I want these two done before I start another one. I don't even know what possessed me to start more than one. Um, I don't know. My body was taken over by a yarny or something. Who knows? <laughs> I know that there's people out there that have like three or four projects that they do. Um, last night when I was working on the blue one, I, I was wanting to get it done. And once I saw that I made a mistake, I ripped out, went back to the mistake, and then set it aside and started with the other one. So I'm going back and forth between the two. And I have had to rip out on the red one. So um, don't think I don't make mistakes. I just go back and correct them. I know some people will make it work. In the gray and white one, there are a couple of mistakes that I made work. This is something that I want nice that, you know, it's for a Christmas gift and I want it to be perfect yes I'm one of those so <laughs> but I do go back and I rip out I don't leave mistakes in there so I wish I'd catch the makes mistakes before I make them but I get sidetracked and when I put it down especially the blue one because it's a simple pattern it's not anything I don't know let me see if I can show you here before without tearing anything out. Okay, so the pattern is um, three double crochets and then a V stitch, which is two double crochets with a chain in between. And then on the next one, there's the three and then these. And then the next row, I'll come along and I'll put the V stitch in the very center of this one and I'll put three crochets in there. So you can see it in the row below. But it's really simple and because I'm using a, a little bit bigger hook it makes it a little drapier and scrunchy and it stretches you know it just gives it a little bit by adjusting the hook size it gives it a little bit more drape so I'm using a little bit bigger hook making a little bit drapier um, just because but with the monotonous of, of doing it when I put it down, when I look at it again, if I pick up and start with the wrong stitch, and yes, I do that, you know, I'll be tired, I'll be whatever, and I'll start with the wrong stitch, and so it gets it off. And I normally don't find it until the next row up, so I'm always ripping back probably, you know, a row and a half, at least a good row or so before I get to the mistake. So, it's just coffee, it's early. <laughs> all right so that's all in the baskets I don't have anything that I dyed this week um I got that mohair off of course last week so that's the only thing that I had hanging back there for in the pods um on the wheel now that <laughs> okay I started with y'all saw that I got like two pounds of each of those wools and I'm not going to go over them again I am going to say that when I start I took the whole two pounds and I divided it up into four pound or four ounce balls. Reason being is I can safely do about four ounces. My thickness, you know, and this back here is a little bit thick, but you know, my thickness. Um, and I can get it all on one. And then I will do another ball on another one and I will ply it. So um yeah i will do that i did um get i purchased two more bobbers so um that's my phone it's an email i'm not worried about it uh this is what i have left from that four ounce ball so this bobbin will be packed full so it's 
I don't know, I'm going to say maybe two ounces left, if that. So I have started doing that. And that's that primitive. And you can see some of the guard hairs. They do spin in pretty good. Um, and they don't make it rough. So I'm okay with it. You can see that the things there. And some of them are guard hairs and some of them are, you know, just my spinning. But once I get it plied um, and dyed, yes, I'm going to dye this, uh, then I will show you the finished product because it will be totally different. Some of those guard hairs will wash away and some of them, and if they're in the twist, they'll stay. But, I mean, it's not scratchy, you know, I mean, it's not my neck soft, but, and remember, that's like my most sensitive spot is my neck so no this oh can't handle it but this oh my gosh even on my arms it's super soft um just not my sensitive area neck so which is funny because somebody said something about my long hair and i was like yeah it's just me too <laughs> but i'm not willing to cut it off so i have that that i'm spinning but before i did that um a girlfriend who has ordered from that rh Lindsay before she had some Falkland and she loves their Falkland and then they had sent me that little sample and it doesn't tell me what it is it just gives me a number so I can go back and look at it and I did spin it up and I did a barber pole so there'll be spots that are just solid brown or you know there's no solid white I had more brown than I had white so I've got some that's you know as it fades away to a solid brown and then I had this. And I'm thinking I might dye it. I don't know. I want to see how this wool takes dye. I haven't done it yet, but hey. And this didn't take me, I think there was two ounces of this. And it was one ounce sample of the brown. And then she had given me almost, it came out to about the same. You know, it was almost an ounce. So... Yeah, I barber pulled it. They both spun like a dream. So if you want um, some, honestly, I'd say it spun about as good as um, the Shetland that we do. And the Shetland that we used to have, I still have fleeces from them, but they had amazing fleece. I've seen Shetland that are not so good. And I know that there's big herds out there and that, mm, but if you feed them right, their wool is amazing. So this is kind of comparable to what we did. Um, it spins about like that. Um, I love it. it. It's definitely, I am liking that RH Lin, uh, yeah, Lindsay. It's, it's a good company. I, I like it. The prices are reasonable and I'm going to have a whole lot of fun with it. Just saying. So, yeah, all of that is, of course, this is on, I'm doing this on my Kiwi. Um, I don't have anything on the traditional right now just because it, where it's setting, I normally spin down the other room. It's easier to move the other one. So, um, if I'm going to do something start to finish and I know I've got time to finish it off, I'll grab the traditional. But my Kiwi is kind of my go-to just because I can, uh, speaking of that on the wheel, I had to repair the Kiwi. And I've done it before, so this is not a big shocker, but I have dropped this twice now. And as you can see, let me see here, there, right there. See that big crack? I glued that one back together. Well, guess what? See this other one over here? I glued it back together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I may have to buy a new one. Um, it's just it hits just right on these edges and you actually could spin you still can use this to spin it's just i don't want to i'm afraid it'll that the drive band would slip off because this is a groove that can hold your drive band so yeah um it's drying still it's not done i just did it this morning yeah lovely lovely <coughs> okay in rj's world um he got the truck fix. He was super upset that somebody tried to take advantage of him. And he's learning 
real hard, really fast, that when it comes to mechanicking, you have to um, get somebody you can trust. That That's what it boils down to. Don't just take it to any old shop. Uh, get somebody who's who you can trust, who, who puts their name on stuff, you know? It, he used to criticize me because I said, that's our name on there. That's our name on there. Don't do anything to shame our name. Our name is everything. And he thought I was over-exaggerating or whatever, but he's figured out if you're willing to put your name on it, you better be willing to back it up. He, somebody tried to take advantage of him. I got a guy that I trusted and he's a little independent uh, mechanic and he put his name on it and he told him the truth and we got it fixed. So the truck is fixed and then if you know, remember, <sighs> last Friday I took my car to be checked out and so anyway uh yeah they told me it needed like fifteen hundred dollars worth of work no it didn't it took all of like now this includes new tires and it did need one thing on the alignment and i i don't remember what it's called but apparently now in these little bitty cars like i have i have a hyundai accent they just bolt the tires on the, the I'm going to say hub because all I know is trailers, okay? It's not the hub. But anyway, um, they just bolt them on. And they don't put the center thing that, it, that you can use to adjust it. So, it doesn't come standard from the manufacturer anymore. Well, I got four tires, the oil change, um, spark plugs done inside cabin filter air filter for the outside um new rear windshield wiper i mean i had this thing gone over with a fine tooth comb and everything they said i needed i did with the exception of the battery i had the battery serviced not replaced because the negative 12 degree weather had taken a toll on it but it wasn't bad it was just a little weak if that makes sense so i took it in and had the battery serviced which they said is back up to how many cranking amps it's supposed to be, blah, blah, blah. So, all of that was done for 550 bucks, And that includes, when I took it for my alignment, they had to put on one of those things to adjust one tire. I may have to put the other one on, but not if I don't hit a pothole or anything like that to knock it out of alignment. Because if it's always out of alignment on the driver's side, then that's what would make my tires wear unevenly. So, I got that put on. I don't remember what it was called. But anyway, uh, yeah, that was... But I got $1,500 worth of work for $550. Yeah. Now, I will be honest. I just bought the air filter. And I just bought the cabin filter. I did it myself. The rear... Uh, windshield wiper but I figured all of that in there and I did that myself too so the windshield wiper blades you know that stuff it's normal but I needed it and I did it so yeah just vehicles RJ is back to room now that he's got a vehicle um, I know he went can't remember what night it was but yesterday he went and all of his headers missed in the short round so it wasn't very good but, I mean, he roped amazingly, but when he got a chance. When you're a healer, if your header doesn't catch, you don't even get a chance to throw your rope. Yep. So he's team roping. He's calf roping. He's got an amazing picture of Star that I got um, team roping. So, and I don't have it here. He's got it at the house I'm going today to frame it. So maybe I'll pop a picture of it. So... Yeah, I'm going to go to the farm today. I'll be there doing grow tower stuff. The grow tower is going to come to this house because RJ doesn't do gardening. Okay, so the grow tower is going to come here. And we will have some in the gardens here. So, um, what else? 
I think that's it except for in the farmhouse. In the farmhouse, I kind of just got a wild hair. And this week I made uh, lip balms. And I have one right here. That's why I, said. I made lip balms. I made some lotion bars, but I can't remember if that was last week or not. And then I made some soaps. And no more than I made them than I had inquiries on purchasing them. Guys, remember, I make old-fashioned soap. It has to cure 30 to 60 days. I like to leave it 60 days. And, I mean, I didn't put up prices or anything. And, you know, they're like, we need your lip balm. And what kind of soap is that? And I'm like, uh, okay, the soap is not going to be ready until this is the 1st of March. It's not going to be ready until the 1st of May. So, guys, I know, and I'm going to go back and make some more um, and put it out there. But you got to give me time, okay? Uh, it just, it's one of those things that I like doing it. I have fun doing it. But it has to cure. So, um, yeah. And I have to have time to do it. So, I try to take one day either... Um, the way I work, I work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That block. Like, I sleep at work. I don't come home. I don't, you know. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm gone. Then I have off Thursday, Friday, or not Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, my Fridays have been taken up with my car here lately. My car is done now. It drives like a dream. Um, a friend of mine told me, yep, now you got a 2020 model, you know, because everything has been serviced on it. So, uh, like I said, and it never gave me any trouble. This was all over, um, one check engine light coming on and then it had an oxygen intake issue. I ran some, uh, catalytic converter cleaner through it. And it was fine, but I wanted to have it checked out because of who I transport and what I transport, you know. That's the other phone. Um, so, because of who I transport and what I transport, um, I work with mentally challenged and I'm not going to be on the side of the road with somebody who doesn't understand that the cars broke down. So, I do take care of the cars. You guys know that we've always taken care of the truck one problem that's it it goes to the mechanic so um yeah i do do that um it is what it is so this is just my paper i got out of that little it's a two ply i got like a hundred yards so i don't know enough to make a little cow um anyway so i have to find time to do everything my car was and the truck are super important um so yeah uh we did find out that the brakes on the truck are leaking at the caliper just a little slight leak <clears throat> rj says all he needs is to get an impact and change it out and he said it's not a big deal he just has to find the time to do it right now he's making sure all the brake brake fluid he carries extra with him right now so and it's not leaking badly it's just a drip drip you know so yep he's gonna get that done and then everything is up and running and i might have more time now that being said i had to work again this weekend <laughs> so yeah i've been on what I do an extra 36 hours so and I normally do 49 a week yeah so it is what it is and I've been working on the weekends and it just uh um the last month and a half I have been working Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I'd have Thursday night at home leave friday night and work over till saturday morning then i'd have 
Saturday night I'd go in and work over till Sunday morning. Then I'd have Monday off and that's it. Then I'd start all over the next day. So I have been doing that literally coming home long enough to do laundry, catch up on some sleep and uh, that's about it. You know, and I've been taking my crochet everywhere with me. And then I would consider Friday off because I only, I go in at night. So I had Friday during the day to get some stuff done, but not as much as you'd think because you just have so much just to get caught up on laundry. So, you know, laundry and the beds and the dishes and, you know, I'm not home much, but roommate is and roommate also has a job and it's a seven in the morning to 3 30 at night you know so yeah it, it's just and i will tell you roommate's mom's car was also in the shop we were all laughing it's like vehicles everywhere none of them quit running um none of them broke down on the side of the road or anything it was all just lights coming on and have to be serviced and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. It is what it is. So, it's life. It happens. But I think... Oh. And yes, it's early in the morning. I've got to go. It is Monday. And so, I've got to go and get stuff done. And I've got laundry going right now. <laughs> No surprise there. I did have to work this weekend, so I haven't been, you know, home. Uh, but, yeah, I've actually been sleeping more nights at work than I have at home. So, uh, today I plan on going and I'm getting a haircut. Yay! Me! I haven't had time for that either, and it shows. Um, so, I'm going to get my haircut and go to the farm and pick up my grow tower and my gardening stuff. And maybe get some plants started. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I know I'm going to do herbs in the tower. I don't know. I think I'm going to try and do cantaloupe in the bottom. You know how I let it vine out. I think I'm going to do cantaloupe. I'm going to do herbs. I don't know what I'm going to do on top. I think I'm going to put my peppers and tomatoes and okra. The roommate has asked to do okra, too. And I was like, mm, okay, I don't need okra. <laughs> I didn't grow up with it. I'm not a fan of it. Um, yeah, in Germany, we didn't have okra. I don't know. It just doesn't grow over there very well, I think. It thrives on the Oklahoma heat. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Um, but bell peppers, tomatoes, okra. And, of course, then I'm going to do, like, herbs and stuff in the... We're not doing any lettuce or cabbage. It's not going to be a huge garden. It's just going to be maybe four or five plants of each, if that. I, I say four because they come in normally four packs. So I'm going to get my bell peppers, tomatoes, and okra already started. I'm not going to do it, you know. I hope I can get okra already started. I don't know. Might be from seed. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Um, but I am going to get that going so that we can compost, compost down the center of that, if you remember. And I'll do a video, just kind of a catch-up video on the grow tower. I think there's one on YouTube, but, you know, we've been at this so long, I don't know that it is. Um, I think when we first did it, we did an unboxing and a, uh, what all it does. But it's got the worm uh, hotel in the center with our composting, and then it's got the warm tea box at the bottom so when it rains you get all the nutrients so you can water up top um yeah so it it's a cool little tower but i think i'm gonna stick my herbs in there and then and i'm just gonna do a ring of each i've got my blueprint for it and i'm going to bring it to the house review it and see what all we're gonna get done so yeah that's the plan for today hopefully nothing goes wrong um last friday servicing my car so the last thing that i had to do on friday was get the tires on the car and get the alignment i had an 8 30 appointment i get to the tire shop i had called made sure they'd ordered and all this stuff um 
before. So Friday was supposed to come. I was supposed to have my tires just popped on, take it, you know, for an alignment. They said the earlier you get here, the better, because that's, you know, our slow time. I get there at 8.30 for my appointment, and they had gotten the wrong tires, and nobody had checked them. So they had to call and get it redone, and then the tires weren't going to be there till 1.00. So, 1 o'clock I call, and they're like, yeah, we're super busy. The guy that I had dealt with, I I dealt with the owner, okay? And he had told me at 1 o'clock, just call, make sure they're here, and then come on down. I called, and the little girl told me, well, we don't have time to do it today. And I said, no, you will get those tires on my car today, or you won't have my business. I said, it was an 8.30 appointment. You guys screwed it up, not me she says well maybe 3 3 30 at a quarter to three I drove down there well lo and behold the owner was back and I lit him up and I said this is not how you do business you know you told me that at one o'clock if they were here you'd put them on because you messed up my appointment and I said I have that alignment to get done so anyway about 320 my tires were on my car <laughs> I was huge. oh I was so mad um, and I took it to get the alignment and found out I had to have that little thing and after that it was done so yeah but it did take me all day because at 8:30 I went and did the shopping that I had to do after that and then I got all the shopping unloaded and then I went to go back and they were like no don't come now hello <laughs> so yeah so it was just kind of being put off all day long and if they'd have gotten right on it it wouldn't have taken me so long i have fuzzies on my arm i see them well fuzzies good fuzzies so all right i'm gonna get off of here and hopefully maybe i'll play in the dye pots i don't know i've got to get i want to have two spools two four ounce balls done before i do i want to make a match so I know that'll give me enough yardage so that I can do an actual project with it. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but I do know I'm going to make something. So, All right, I'm off here. I will see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.